Once you got the idea of encapsulation, let's see the practical implementation of it. Let's say I have a class called a student. And this class student knows about two variables. Oh, I already have a student class. Let's go with employee. Okay, so let's say I have a class called as employee. This employee has two variables. One is employee, we'll say EMP ID. And second thing it has is EMP name. So name and uh, ID, right? And let me create some employees here. So let's say my first employee is EMP E1 equal to new new EMP, which is new employee. And let me create some more objects. So let me create these three objects. So we'll say EMP2 and EMP3. Now I have three objects here. Now let's say I want to assign a value of EMP1 employee ID. So I will say E1 dot employee ID equal to let's say 3. Instead of 3 we will go for 2 just to reduce the work. We'll say E1 dot E name is equal to let's say the name of the employee is let's say Navin. And for second employee, what will we can do the same thing. We can say e2 dot employee id as let's say is five, and e2 dot employee name will say is one. So uh, we have this uh, two objects now. Now the way I'm assigning the values is I'm directly using e1 dot emp id. That means from from this place. I am assigning a value to this variable. That means anyone can access your variables with the help of object, right? But your values should be private. So all your data members should be private. Now you can see we are getting some errors here. It says your variables are private, you cannot access from another class because private variables can be accessed from the same class. For this, what we can do is we can use some methods which, which are responsible to assign the values and which are responsible to fetch the values. And this method will say they are getters and setters. So how to use getter setters? We can just right click. We'll say insert code. We need getter setters for both the variables and say generate. So you can see we got the getter setters for both the variables. It is get name, uh, set, sorry, get a employee ID and set employee ID, get employee name and set employee name. And this, this members or are, are these methods are public, which are accessing our private variables. So you can access those private variables from the same class. Now what I can do is I can simply say it says, instead of using directly a variable, we can say emp e1 dot set employee ID as three and emp e1 dot set employee name as Navin. Right, so this is how you can assign the values. Instead of assigning value in this way, because variables are private, you can use methods. How to fetch it? Let's say I want to print. So I will say e1 dot get employee name. Since this will not work because we are getting an error, we made our variables private. So we'll come in this part and let's run this code. And the output we'll be getting is Navin, right? It's because we are using a method called as get employee name. Simple. And yeah, that is the example of encapsulation. That is, we are binding our variables with methods. Clear? And in fact, this thing, this EMP is also called as bin now, is because we are uh, we are making sure all your variables are private. So that's that's it with uh, encapsulation. Thanks for watching, and do subscribe for other videos.